So you guys read the title of the video, Does Lineage Matter? Absolutely not. Thanks a lot for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. I'm kidding, a little bit. Overall, I don't think lineage matters that much. I do think it can be a good signal if someone is not legitimate, in the sense that if you encounter someone who has difficulty telling you what their lineage is and it sounds weird, like what their answer is, then that could be a signal that perhaps they're not a legitimate practitioner. But if someone does give you an answer, you know, anything beyond their instructor, so, you know, if you know their instructor to be legitimate, then there's a very, very good chance that they are also legitimate. But beyond that first level, somebody telling you their lineage is basically like them telling you their astrology sign. It actually doesn't really tell you that much about them. So the best way to find out if someone's legitimate roll with them, or roll with a few students that they've produced. If you can do those two things, those are way better signals to someone's actual skill in terms of actual practical implementation of jiu-jitsu and practical instruction of jiu-jitsu, okay? Uh, if you can't do either of those things, well, you'll have to find another signal for their skill. You know, you'll have to go to someone you trust, you know, call them up, be like, hey, is this guy, is this guy legit? Have you rolled here before, et cetera, et cetera? But most people, you'll be able to get either one of those two signals. Either you'll be able to roll with people that they've trained or roll with them, and you'll be able to see if they're legitimate. Now, overall, people who obsess over their own lineage too much, uh, I find not always, but sometimes, it's out of insecurity of their own skill, where they have to refer to how cool their lineage sounds because they themselves are not confident about their own abilities. This doesn't mean that they suck. It doesn't mean that they're not good at jujitsu. It can just signal that perhaps they're not confident, which could be a signal for something else. So I would say, you know, someone that I would want to train under is someone that can beat the crap out of me, number one, that is a good instructor, and that I know has competed against other good grapplers or has trained people to compete against other good grapplers, and they are competent. They are within that range of a high level of competence that you find amongst you know the pro grapplers. Um, so those are the signals that I would look for. I wouldn't look for just whatever lineage that they say um, because again, you know, you get a very big affiliation, you get a very big lineage. I think you find that once you get uh, two or three schools removed from the person who founded it, it's unless there's a very very good system of quality control from the top down. You can find that someone at the top of a lineage who is extremely legitimate, who's won world championships, who's known to be a great instructor, you go three schools removed generations, three generations removed past them, you have no idea what that school is going to look like. It could be a super legitimate school or it could be a subpar school. You just don't know unless, again, their organization has very good quality control for their schools and instructors from the top down. And some affiliations do. And those are the ones that you would want to train with, the ones that have a very good reputation for that kind of thing. So again, I think it's a sig I, I think if someone has difficulty telling you their lineage and they can't specify, then that's a signal that, you know, maybe you should look into whether they actually are legitimate and that their qualifications are what they claim to be. Um, but ultimately, your instructor, right, that is the person that you should look to the most, right, for guidance. And if, if you are learning from somebody else, guess who that person leans towards for their guidance, right? It's their instructor. So, you know, you go one or two generations removed, I think you can find whether someone is legitimate, but you go beyond that, I think it's very difficult. So you wanna look immediately at your instructor, maybe their instructor, see what they've done, see what they've accomplished, see what lineage they've built underneath them, uh, see what the average skill of those people are, and that can tell you a lot. But overall, I think, you know, like I said, I don't think it tells you that much. The practical skill, the practical teaching skill, that stuff matters way more, and you need to actually be able to observe that before deciding where you guys want to sign up. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you found this informative. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a comment if you disagree, if you hate what I said, if you think I'm an idiot, or if you agree. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.